What'd you do? I don't know. Hey Skylar, what's up, dude? They're such a delight, it's hilarious. I know. Turn this down. It's almost the end. I know. We got a few minutes. We got a couple minutes here, so we're just hanging out before we get in everything. We're getting professional now. No, oh, I wouldn't go that far. Well, we got a list on an iPad now. It's first a paper towel. Scoop this way, honey. We're on our bean bags. That's enough. Good. I'll just leave it. Give it a minute or two. Just hanging out. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. <coughs> time is it? Pretty much nine. Nine. All right. So we've got a few people on here. Six people. Something like that. Seven. Cheers, everybody. Happy Monday. Cheers. Hopefully you can see me. It's okay if you can't. You can. <laughs> She's got her Truly with an ice cube in it. Well, there's nothing worse. I mean, Truly's bad. It's even worse when it's hot. We got Judy. Hi, Judy. Remember Judy? I of course do. You remember From Judy. vacation. Yeah, and she plan. asked how to join. Hey, Josh, what's going on, man? Skyler. Yeah, can you hear us all right, Skylar? I know. I, I had to jerry-rig another whole setup. Dude. It's been kind of a uh, shit show. But I got it done. We're going to figure something out. We'll we need to get a mic. Time. Or we can use it on our iPad. We'll figure something out. <clears throat> so when do you want to get started? All right. We can go ahead and get started. Yeah, we'll get started. Um... Kind of, uh, Today's Monday. Today's Monday. March 30th. Yep. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Staying at home. Anybody do anything exciting? <laughs> Clean out a closet. Clean out your makeup drawer. Good. Thanks, Kyle. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we've got a little list of things, just kind of fun stuff to talk about. Um, just kind of go through that and uh, just, you know, feedback's always good. You know, we're just kind of hanging out doing this. Oh, we've got, who do we have on here? Okay. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I get distracted. It's like squirrel. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, we're just going to talk for a bit. Again, kind of fun. Things that have been happening in our world? Yeah. That's pretty much <laughs> it. And uh, talk about those things. So, um, first off, today's Monday. Monday. March 30th. 30th. We already said that. It's been, we've been at home. Oh, we got three back. three weeks now. Well, no, technically it's only been 15 days since we've been back. I looked it up and I counted all the days. Oh, it feels like 977. I know. It's been 15 days, so some of you guys have probably been locked down a little bit longer. We're feeling it, man. We, we absolutely are feeling it, and we understand it, it sucks. Um, I had a conversation today with a coworker via IM, and um, he lives right down the street from us, and... <clears throat> He was saying that um, it's kind of getting a little scary because his sister is a nurse. And, you know, this originally started off as something that only impacted um, older, less healthy people. And um, it's starting to now impact children, which is kind of scary. Um, hopefully they probably recover from it a little bit easier. But his sister is a nurse and they had two days ago, they only had one case, one, you know, one minor that had uh, COVID-19. And she went back to work today and all 15 beds in her area are filled with children who now have COVID-19, which is scary. You know, it yeah. kind of makes you rethink some of the stuff that you're doing. Uh, I don't think people took serious enough the warning to six feet it apart and stay away from playgrounds and... <sighs> I can't keep moving. <laughs> Sorry. These beanbags are not... <laughs> okay, real quick. And I don't, no, you keep going and then I'll talk about the beanbags. Um, but so, you know, but his thing was how we really started the conversation. He was like, I am so sick of working from home. Um, and I totally was like, you, I, I, brother, I know, I get it, I get it. Luckily, there's things that we've kind of been doing, um, but I will first say that, you know, my anxiety over the last three days has probably increased about twofold. And I, it's weird, nothing else has changed. Um, doing everything I was doing before, uh, Greg suggested that maybe it's because I'm doing too much of the same stuff, too much repetitive, you know, playing my video game, 
coloring. So need to mix it up was the message that he gave me. So what are you guys doing? How are you staying busy? Um, I think it's good for us to share with everyone opportunity to uh, entertain yourself. Because we can't drink beer <clears throat> every minute of the day. No. We try. No, we cannot. But well, we have to. Some of some <laughs> people are fortunate enough to to work, so absolutely we can't. But you know, um, I think just in line with like what Beth said, it's just trying to sh mix things up is going to be kind of imperative, right? Um, if we are all locked down for till I think it's April thirtieth here, some places potentially can go longer. I know in some locations schools already being canceled. Phoenix. For School's um, already done we have for the tons. Year. Obviously, we have a ton of you friends out there that are going to be going through that. That's going to be a challenge, you know. Um, one thing that we unfortunately saw on the news that they're worried about here is, you know, like the stress that comes with that oh, yeah. is for children that are at home, <clears throat> right? And certain things. This is going to get kind of dark for a second, but. Um, you know, child abuse, those sorts of things they're, they're expecting to see arise. And we really got to be mindful of taking care of our neighbors when you see stressed out people and things like that is they need to be able to talk to somebody, right? And they need to be able to have an outlet in some of those cases just to vent. Even if it's just a vent, it's just be, be a good person, be a good neighbor and hang out with each other and Try and help out. Call people. Make sure you're making those contacts. Mm -hmm. Right, I think. Do you guys see the story about the Golden Retriever in Colorado, which you know yeah. spoke huge to it's me. Cool. Um, this, this, uh, this dog, this woman has a Golden Retriever, and her neighbor is older and has breathing issues, is already on oxygen, so she's being very cognizant of what she's doing. And um, in order to keep the distance, um, they're sending the dog over. So the dog went over and got her grocery list and her money, his owner went and did all the shopping for her and then came back and the golden retriever delivered all the groceries. So it was really, really cute. It was sweet. Yeah. And um, it made the golden retriever so happy. You could just see the smile on his face, which was really cool. So. Right. So we'll keep trying to do these a couple times a week, you know, just to, to try and liven things up, you know, share it, whatever. But it's just more along the line of it. Number one, it's to give us <laughs> some new. levity, something to do, something <laughs> different in the day. Um, because, yeah, we're working from home doing the same thing a lot of people are doing and uh, you know and those that don't have that opportunity it's limited and it's going to get start getting really stressful so so last week i think it was last week i mentioned headspace they are actually doing all their services for free right now so if you'd like to get into meditation but don't really want to have to pay for it now's a great time to jump on their app and try out their free stuff so they have a lot of free stuff right now because of what's going on so their studies have shown that meditation is really a great way to um, deal with a lot of this. So it's hard. It's, I mean, it, you would think it'd be crazy easy to find 10 minutes in the day because you're at home. Um, but really nailing down that 10 minutes can be, can be yeah. difficult without making it a priority. So kind of like everything else, you just have to prioritize, yeah, prioritize I, it. I'll tell a, just a really, really quick story. And I haven't even told Beth this, but oh. Friday, it was nothing bad. Okay. Friday, I just got like burned out working from home, doing those sorts of things. And I could just feel it, right? You just, just I, and I don't really get stressed mm -hmm. out about things and things like that, right? But <clears> just <throat> kind <throat> of, yeah, I mean, once in a while, human. but yeah, but it just kind of hit me all of a sudden. And I was just sitting out, I was out in my garage, just kind of sitting there hanging out for a <clears> minute <throat> and my neighbor came Excuse over. He, my, I, I'm lucky that I have a neighbor across the street that I've met that we've become kind of fast friends, right? Um, but he brought over a 12 pack of beer and he's dropped it off because he's been borrowing beers here and there when he comes over to kind of get out of his house or whatever. He's the guy who drinks and smokes when he drinks. So Greg is his favorite person <laughs> when he drinks. He's like, neighbor next door has cigarettes, I'm going over. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I am uh, just kind of sitting there and I was just stressing out. There's no reason. I don't have a reason. It was just kind of being cooped up. But I took Beth's lead and just went for a long walk. I mean, I walked the entire neighborhood. And I think that just being outside for, you know, it was 40 minutes just being outside. Came back home, you know, and it, like, my, my attitude 
internally because I tend to kind of unfortunately snip a little bit everything yeah, and, and then just let the baby snips out here and there yeah and it sucks and I feel bad but it's just kind of the <laughs> way my reaction is right um, but yeah I want to make sure that when I screwed this thing up hey Fred um, just make sure you're checking on people yeah. make sure you're taking care of yourself don't assume yeah. that your partner's doing great um, Greg is out of the Two of us, he's the calm headed one. Um, but even for him, this is bringing some stress on that I think he's not used to. So yep. check on your neighbors, check on your family. Um, and with that, we're going to get into the fun what, shit. What about the beanbag? What were you going to say? Oh, about bean the beanbags. Bag? All right, so we're sitting on beanbag chairs up in the. Why do we have these? Okay, real quick. We're upstairs. We wanted to change it up. Last time we talked, um, it was too dark. It was too dark, so we moved upstairs. Because the dogs are downstairs and we have a gate so they can't come upstairs. I'll let them out later and you guys can see them real quick if they don't knock over the camera and everything. <laughs> but when we moved into the house here, we had no furniture. We were waiting on the trailer to get here. Yep. And we literally needed something to sit on. So I went over to Walmart and I bought some beanbag chairs. And I figured, yeah. And now there are video game chairs. Yeah. So right over here, you can't really you see can't it. can't really see She's it. She's got her VR goggles and all of that stuff. So... It's kind of our fun little place to hang out and, um, you know, just do our chill. things, chill yeah. out, whatever. That was one thing I said. I, I haven't played video games at all, and I think this is a great time for me to really get back into my, my video game uh, world and be gone for hours at a time. Yeah, which is kind of cool. So, so all, all right. right. What's on your list? Hallmark movies are back. <laughs> Yay! Um, this past Saturday, uh, it's been about a month, month and a half since there's been new Hallmark movies. I love, love. Um, I love Romedies, I love Hallmark, because even though I completely know the plot and how it's going to end, I love watching it. I love seeing um, love win, if you will. Um, so I got to watch three or two movies were new, and I have one waiting for me um, to watch. The other one's a mystery. And I just leave the room. He totally leaves the room. Gives me He's time like, to do other things, I guess. He's like, this is such ridiculous BS, Beth. And I'm like, I love love, Brent. Can't help it, baby. <laughs> I do. I love it. Yeah. But it's back on. There's a movie every weekend now for the next four to five weeks. So, so I've got my time, and she's <laughs> got her time. So I go out in the garage and I whittle. Whittle. I was wood burning this weekend. I got him a planer for Christmas that he so so I had to have. I will um, figure something out to do with that planer. It's now March, and he has yet to use it. So I'm like, how about I use that planer? I don't know what you do with it. I don't know how it works. I don't even know a thing about it other than it levels wood. <laughs> Shauna said, Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> What, to the to the Hallmark? I think so, right? Shauna. Shauna. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm hoping that's what it is, dude. Shut up. It's hilarious. But it's fun. I mean, it's it's a feel-good thing. I This weekend on Saturday, it, or Sunday, it was just day filled with love. If you guys have not seen this movie called Two Night Stand, it came out, I think, in like 2015. Who's in it's it? on Amazon. Nobody's. I mean, he's a somebody. Miles. I can't think of his last name. Miles. Oh, the dude from. Um, yes. From the, the Maze Runner. And yeah, 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 A bunch of those yeah. things. He's in it. He's the main character, and then it's a girl um, that I know I've seen before as well, but I don't know their name. But it's cute, and it was it was an hour and a half. It took up an hour and a half of my time, and it was some giggles and some laughs, and it was cute. It was good. Yeah. And it was free. <laughs> yeah, can't complain about. I mean, it's not free. really free because we pay for Amazon Prime once a year. But it was free compared to all the other movies I want to see right now. Right. So that's all I got to say about that. Just go in the garage or go in your backyard or go for a walk. Or watch it. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> What's on the list next? Uh, I said peanut butter. Okay. She has. Obviously, everybody knows that I can't eat peanut butter, or most people know. If you don't know, I'm. She'll say no. You know. I have an allergy to peanut butter. At least I think it's disgusting, but I got tested a long time ago and I still have a mild allergy, but I still won't eat it, right? Well. I love peanut butter. Yeah. And I eat enough for both of us. And? <laughs> oh shit, hang on. So, um, grocery shopping, as I've been trying to eat healthier, um, as you guys know, I had a stomach bug a couple weeks ago and I lost like six or seven pounds and I'm really trying to figure out how to keep those six or seven pounds off. Um, so I've been trying to eat healthier, which includes introducing fruit back into my diet. Um, and so I eat things that can go with peanut butter, period. If it's a fruit, it's got to go with peanut butter or I'm not eating it. Um, and so when I did the grocery list, 
I tried something so that the chick at a HEB um, curbside recommended that if there were things that we wanted that were high value at this point to do an early pickup. So Toilet we did paper. a pickup a week out for 10 o'clock this morning. Um, and so I built a list and one of the things I needed was peanut butter. I'll be damned if there was no like, like, like my brand of peanut butter. Like I'm a Jif girl. I love Jif natural. Um, there was nothing. I mean, I had to get the HEB brand, which is good, but it's funny how different peanut butter can taste based off who makes it. I mean, it tastes completely different than the Jif peanut butter. Right. I mean, it's almost stronger. It's kind of weird, you know? So I'm eating it today. It's stronger. It's thicker. And so I'm like trying to be in this call and I'm trying to eat my banana and my peanut butter. And I'm like, okay, Beth, you got to stop eating in order to be in this meeting. But, um, so it's just kind of funny how like you have these comfort foods yeah. that when they're not there, you almost are at a loss. You're like, what, what, what am I supposed to do now? How am I going to eat my banana? How am I going to eat my apple? Peanut butter. I don't know. But it was funny. I, we, we get gala apples. Like I go to the grocery oh, store and yeah. eat gala apples, right? <laughs> She's like, the only thing that's available is a bag of apples. Okay. Do we have Thinking that? like regular apples, whatever. They're literally like that big. They're so tiny. They're, an inch and they're and a half. like a half an apple. Yeah, maybe. No, they're like half an apple. I think apple. so. Yeah. They're tiny. So it's kind of funny just to see. We were know. worried about it being a three pound bag. You're right, Kathy. First word problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. But we were worried about it being a three pound bag. And are these bad boys going to be ba go bad? And we're going to each have to eat like two every time we eat one in order to get the same amount. But there's as like regular. 80 of them in the back. Oh, so I think we'll be okay for there like is. probably a good week. Or two. Probably longer. Yeah, well, we're going to get some of my camera. dad. So Sorry, she's pouring a drink. She's very... So, she put in... Uh, she's drinking Trulies. And they were hot. And they were a little warm. It's like they're bad enough cold. This pack is actually really good, though. It's the citrus pack. So far, I've been pleasantly surprised. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe that was for my, less. my prepping time before. I got her, like... Two cases of these things? Three cases of this thing and one case of Bud Light. Yeah, so. This is the second case, which I'm very proud of because now we've been in the house for two and a half weeks and I'm only just now on the second. It wasn't a case, 12 pack. It's my second 12 oh, two pack. Two 12 pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two. Well, I got you two cases overall. No, a yes, case and a half. You're right. You anyway. did get me two cases overall. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so, so, the pet, saw you're on. Greg Vance is on. So, what are you guys missing? What's your one thing? Okay, so everybody can say toilet paper, so be. Um, inventive. What creative. besides to creative? Thank you. Uh, what besides toilet paper has been hard for you to get? Um, Greg went to the grocery store right before he went to the pickup, and it seems like meat is back to normal. Yeah, um, at least it. We have the biggest. We we are fortunate that we live about two miles from like the biggest, biggest HEB in, in Texas. Town. In Texas. Or in Texas. It's the biggest HEB in Texas, supposedly. Um, Which just kind of comes and goes. You know, if you had a neighborhood market, and maybe you don't have the pressure on it. Right. Maybe more people come, but today it looked like, you know, it was it was pretty good as far as everything Stop. stocked except for some of the paper products. But I I really do think if you go in the I morning, still think it's really funny. Like there are things that you can't shit, get, like dude. peanut butter, um, refried flipping beans. Hello. Yeah. Who knew that many people liked refried beans? I mean, I know we live in San Antonio, and so there are a lot of Hispanic population. Being Hispanic, I love refried beans. Yeah. Tortillas um, were kind of... Yeah, tortillas tickets. were gone. It was like... That's kind of like the Texas bread, I think, anyway. So. Yeah. Um, it's the it's the Mexican's French bread. Oh, did if you can't see her shirt, oh. it says... It's because it's backwards on the video. It says, Jesus, Jesus drank wine. wine. He did. Just sharing. I think he it's did. kind of funny. Um, oh, and Greg asked me to get dressed for this one. It was kind well, of Well, I told funny. her to put pants on. <laughs> she had like... Comfy shorts. Comfy shorts. And I'm like, you're going to be sitting in this. It's just the whole thing. We got, I mean, we can swear, but come on. I, I, th I think we've done really good tonight. I don't, have we said a swear word yet? I have. A few times. Well, that's surprising. Not really. I know. Anyway. Uh, so, next thing you wrote okay, down so was. Hang on a second. Oh. Let me go back through. So, Shauna said spaghetti noodles. <gasps> really? Which are, are slim pickings here still, but there were a handful. And I kind of, I just grabbed like one package. We don't need a so lot. Of, two. Or did I grab two? Mm -hmm. We don't need a lot of pasta, pasta. but that's one thing that, um, like the other day I, we smoked some ribs and Beth made some, um, potato casserole, potato casserole which is like the cubed potatoes. It's and just cheese. heaven. It's 
really good. But I smoked some ribs and we've been bringing, we brought her dad some food. So her brother normally brings him food and um, what I wanted to do is just bring food. But we can make, you can make a shit ton of pasta in sauce. And we have a lot because we bought some before we went to, we, we had the, for some reason, we're with all to buy some stuff yeah. before we went to Breckenridge. Um, and Greg came home with like, I'm not lying when I tell you like six bags of pasta, which was surprising to me because we don't eat pasta, but it goes a long way. So it made, it made some sense that pasta was the right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, Fred said frozen fish is scarce there. You live in the mountains, dude. Yeah. Go hunt. I mean, couldn't you just go to the river and get some? I'm just He has a river next to his house. I mean. Like next, don't you, dude? Don't they have great fly fishing in Colorado Springs? I don't know. I think, I think everything's so. still frozen there. We were just there. I know. Three weeks ago. But I'm pretty sure I've seen people fishing during ski season. Could be wrong. <laughs> it's been a while since I lived there. I'm not a fisherman. So what do I know? Dave Hersey, who's a cop back in. Thank you, dude, for, I know, weird shit going on, but thank you for, for doing what you're doing. But he said stock up on cannolis. Cannolis. Do they go bad? I mean... I guess no, you, you can make them and freeze them? I guess, no. Well, you go someplace, like, you're not making them. You could totally make cannolis. I'm not making cannolis. Well, I, could. I don't even know. Let me do, dude. Um, let's see. Fred said there's no river near him. Um, is the word, is the world ready for what? Hang on. For the Le Montagne. Oh, shit, I don't know. Whatever. Well, whatever. <laughs> so I mean, I, I might have missed a comment. But, uh, what's up next? Um, so we can kind of roll into that. So I did get to see my dad for the first time in three yeah, weeks. that was awesome. Um, look, I'm going to get emotional. Sorry. <clears throat> it's been I a while. Him. So let me give you a little background. We went on vacation, um, shortly before, like. No, when or, shit was going down. Like, but we didn't know it was going to hit that hard. No, no. No, you're we, right. We knew it was, it was happening. It was literally just starting. There was a couple of things happening, right? And, um, so we were like, we're driving. We, we were staying in a place. We, were, we feed ourselves we, for the most part. We went out to dinner. Fred was with us. We did go to one place. It got pretty tight, but we bailed out of there pretty quick. Just kind of knowing and having a gut feeling. And even Fred was like, hey, dude, yeah, we got to go. So we did, and we went back up to the, to the place we were staying yeah. at. And again, when you're skiing and stuff like that, you don't have a lot of... Well, you're not touching. You're really careful, right? You're careful. Hand sanitizer everywhere. Yeah. We um, talked about we talked about this yeah. in the last one. You can go back and watch that. But so anyway, we we, we put, had to do a self quarantine. It was recommended coming yeah. from Colorado, anywhere in Colorado, especially weeks. in Summit County, to do a fourteen day quarantine. My dad's eighty five, like we've mentioned before. Yeah. You know, he's had heart disease. Excuse me, open heart surgery. Just you know, want to make sure that we're being smart for him. And so we we really had not. Greg had seen him a couple times, just taking food over, but literally. Gloved on, mask on, passing food through the door. Yeah. Um, so on Saturday, we smoked some ribs, like we said, and we made some potato casserole. And uh, we got to go over there, and we just went in the backyard and sat six feet away and mm -hmm. chatted, and it was awesome. It was good, yeah. I mean, because we've been FaceTiming with them, or the Google Duo, Duo and Duo. stuff like that. Yeah, so that was one thing that, it was just good. So if you get the opportunity and you have anybody that you can't get in touch with, like my dad, I talked to him this weekend. It was his birthday on Saturday or Sunday. Sunday. Saturday. Nope, Saturday. Saturday? Yep, Saturday. Um, and I was telling him, I was like, hey, dude, we can do FaceTime. And then I remembered he still has a flip phone. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's still got a flip phone, right? Uh -huh. So, you know, it's kind of funny as shit that, well, he's 76. Six right now, but like her dad has a Android phone. I'm like, what's wrong with you? But he's got nieces Nothing's and nephews. Nothing's wrong with you, bro. But her dad's nieces like, and nephews like, that require him to stay up to date. Yeah. Your dad, your his nieces and nephews, his grandchildren. I should say his grandchildren. With people saying they can't see anything or something. You no, know, I'm just telling you, you're kind of leaning back. All right, funny. leave me alone. Sorry. Um, but so my dad has you know my nieces and nephews encouraging him to get when he needs a phone, get this. So that's why. I don't think your dad has that, so that, that makes no, sense. No, but what he does have is he's got an iPad. He's got Facebook yes, Messenger. Yes, he does. So he was like, but his thing was, he goes, a lot of us old guys don't necessarily mess around with technology too much. He watches. I'm going to. I'm going to be 85. Well, I'm still going to be a technology kind of grown up in it. What I'm getting at is reach out. If, if you can give somebody a tutorial on it <laughs> and walk them through it, 
it will change their life. their perspective. It they can see you, which is a huge thing than just having a call. And even the call is great if you can't if you can't do anything else, right? So um, Dave said, care package and root for your dad or for dad. Um, oh Jesus! Who? I, the, My cousin? <laughs> I saw, no. Oh. Dave Hersey, the cop. Oh. Cannoli, Playboys, Mickey, <laughs> block, block phone. He'll love it. Thanks. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Oh, that's um, yeah, I don't so, know if they will know what to do with Playboys anymore at 85. 77. Not your oh, dad. Oh, your dad. dad. Okay. He's 77. I don't know that your dad would know what to do with Playboys either. But, but, but so my dad's really, really locked down because he's had heart stints put in. He's like my dad. He had a mild heart attack. Plus he had um, uh, Lyme disease. So I didn't know that. You know, he had that a couple of years ago, and that really messed with his immune system, right? Because it's an autoimmune. I think it creates an autoimmune system. I have no issue. idea. So um, it's just kind of people. You don't know people's situations. So def- yeah. definitely reach out to your aunts, uncles, whomever, right, and just kind of talk to them. So I'm gonna switch things up. Okay. Cleaning again. Oh shit. For those of you that don't know, I'm a very, very lucky woman in the in the sense that. Greg needs everything clean all the time. I don't, I rarely have to clean. I clean the bathrooms and the kitchen. That's my thing. You're naked in one and you eat in the other. So I have very strict requirements for them. The rest of it comes down to Greg. So she's saying I suck at cleaning. No, 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 you don't. I just, I feel better doing those. You're okay doing everything else. I'm completely okay with you doing everything else. I'm never gonna, never gonna complain about what you do as long as I don't have to do it. But the funny thing is I was talking to my neighbor and having beers, you know, Chit-chatting. Chit-chatting. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to mop. And I was like, shit, I haven't mopped in a while. So I mopped. And, but I, before you do all that, you vacuum, you sweep, you do all the other shit. We've got hard, we, or whatever, the we laminate bamboo, floors. We've whatever. got bamboo floors, not laminate. And then I started <laughs> thinking, I was like, is the floor really that clean? Or is the house really that clean? And I started thinking about all the other places Nooks. nobody cleans under your couch. Yeah. Under the refrigerator, right? Behind the refrigerator. Do you clean behind all that shit? No. So these are things, if you get bored, oh, and I got to run downstairs real quick in just a second. You can just talk. Why? I got to get my list of shit, of things to do. It'll take two seconds. But of just things, extra things, if you really think your shit's that clean, it really isn't. There are other places to clean. Oh, Lord. Baseboards. I thought about baseboards, though, too. Who's done baseboards? Today, I was like, you know, we could clean the baseboards in every room and break it down into I take two and you take two. Do Yeah, if you want to do something. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. No. It's not going to happen. All right, hang on a second. I'll be right back. You can start on the next conversation. I'll be right back. One second. My dog is probably going to go crazy. So, I will say that one of the things that I've started doing is baking again. I haven't... When I tried to start living a healthier lifestyle, I quit baking because I love sweets and they are the bane of my existence. Um, but I figured I may as well get really good at them again and start like trying to get fancy with my frosting. Um, all my neighbors benefited from that. My, my neighbors on both sides and across the street and my dad benefited from it because there was no way I was keeping 22 cupcakes here at the house because I would have eaten all 22 by myself. I wouldn't have shared with Greg. So, um, but you know, it's a great, I I think what I'm going to start doing now is because I had so much fun trying to figure out that frosting thing is I am going to buy, um, (laughs) the the kit, you know, where you can put the frosting in the bag and put the tip on it and do like fancy frosting. I think I'm going to buy one of those off Amazon. Although I did find out that Michael delivers, Michael's delivers. Um, but I may as well start taking some tutorials and trying to get really good at my frosting efforts. She's always wanted to do like a little bakery. I for have. ever and ever. We've talked about doing like a trailer or something like that. These are the types of things that we can start thinking about, right? That, and anybody can do this, right? I, I really do think that you could lead, could lead you into doing something fun on the side. One of the catches with everything that's happening is the people that are doing different things, <clears throat> right? That have their own private businesses are, are going to be hit hard yeah. because of this, right? So it's support each other. And I'll I'll say that over and over and over again. If they are considered non-essential, they have to close down, right? (laughs) Sure, they're not comfortable. Um, Hang on, just fix your stuff. Sorry, adjustment period. There we go. Make sure we're trying to support each other, right? I really do, I really, really, really do think that's important. 
um, private companies make up, I think it's like 70% of the businesses in the United States. That's huge, right? When you think about For that. all our friends that and are private company Leon owners, Neuron, I mean, it's like Leon, we have a lot. You guys have a, a painting company. I know you're able to still work and stuff Skyler's like that. Skyler's got his own company. Skyler's we have several friends that yeah. we've met through the drinking bros that have their own yeah, companies. Yeah, there's a lot I mean. of people, right? Um, just make sure you're taking care of each other. If you have local businesses you can support, support shit out of them. Go out and buy $10 worth of cupcakes or whatever it is, right? Just try and do that. <clears throat> One thing we're going to try and do this weekend um, is... There's a little bakery that I was mentioning to Beth that mm -hmm. she likes. It's next to her her gym. Is just support them. We don't need to eat all the baked goods, but right behind there, we live in a small, very kind of a tight community, it's pretty small. small. Yeah. Um, right behind where they're located is the fire department and the police department. Right, is buy some some goods from them. Buy some extra goods. Have and just deliver them over to I'll them. Take them over. You know, and, and ask them to you know individually wrap everything. Oh, so they do. Can, yeah, but you know so what I mean. Just we, we're sure. gonna we're gonna support this business by thanking our you know our frontline, uh, right. So I'm just first responders. Um, okay, so I will say that this baking thing and the COVID nineteen mm -hmm. is kind of my excuse to buy things that I don't need. Like what? An Instapot for one. I got an Instapot last week. You guys might have seen the picture with Bomber on um on a, I don't know if it was I, think I don't it was, know what I. I Facebook. I haven't used it's it. It's a yet. pressure cooker, I think. I mean, right? it, it is. It's no. It's seven in one. It's so much more than a pressure cooker. I don't yeah. know what that means, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so I got that um, last Wednesday. I haven't used it yet. I am now part of a Facebook brief. Thank you for including me. Part of an Instapot Facebook group, um, and I downloaded the app and I was looking through it and uh, I guess I just got to figure out how to use it, but. I'm also thinking, like, when bread was scarce, I was like, ah, I could buy that bread maker I've always wanted. I no, no. <laughs> Quick story. Quick story. Christmas story. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Christmas story. I don't even know. No, it's not about you. Oh, okay. It's about my parents. Oh, my dad okay. will see this. He said he's watched this. That's why I'm really amped to kind of keep doing these, because it gives my dad a chance to look and see and, and see watch you. us yeah. and see us, right? Um, so my, my dad, a long time ago, Bought my mom a bread maker. Oh, but did he buy it for the holidays? Didn't he for buy Christmas. it for? Yeah, that's a fucked up move, dude. Sorry. Well, we got a lot of good bread out of it. I'm don't just buy your wife fairly certain she you for don't want to buy a a bread maker for like. Have you ever got me that? For Christmas, birthday. birthday. It's kind of like buying a vacuum for somebody. It's exactly like buying a vacuum for somebody. If I want it, I'll buy it on my own. When like, the time is but right. if I got you a brand new KitchenAid mixer, you'd be. <sighs> Um, yeah, no, you'd be all I mean, yeah, freaking good about it. But probably because I've asked for it so many times. Because mine's on its She's last leg. It's, it's on its last different. leg. No, it's not. It's like The plastic's breaking. It doesn't stay shut down anymore. Duct tape works perfect. Oh, shut up. That's so ghetto. Sorry, that was a side, side rant. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been using it to purchase things that I probably don't really need in life, but really want anyways. Shauna said... Uh, laugh a lot. Right, I have one too. Barely use it. <laughs> I have the seven in one. I have the seven in one. Apparently, when you use it, it's badass because you can have stuff ready in like seven minutes. Which, who wouldn't want dinner ready in seven minutes? I agree, hundred percent. I just need to figure out. I was the looking at these recipes. You can make bread in an instapot. <gasps> oh, I don't need a bread maker then, do I? But I was looking at some Fred, recipes. Thanks for stopping by. We're only going to be going for like a few more, more minutes. minutes. If you um, but uh, so yeah, so I, I'm just going to keep buying stuff I don't need because I'll need it one day. Right. I don't. Know, that's stupid. What's it? What is it? Yeah, that's dumb. So we try and write some shit so that we have some topics. So if you guys want to hear anything, or you think, I mean, what I would actually recommend is everybody starts doing this. Like she's nervous shit every time we start this. Right, and... Greg told me, literally said, you're more fun when you've had alcohol. No, I did so not say that. What did you say? I said... You talk more and you're more relaxed. It's just something... Because last time she was drinking energy drink and trying to, like, <laughs> jam off this thing, like, as fast as she could. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it, man. Be safe. Okay? So, uh, yeah, I think we're probably at a good point to just say thank you to our first responders. I know Phoenix last night had some shit go down. Um, that was pretty sad and horrific. I mean, not only yeah. do they have to worry about 
this COVID-19 right now, but also um, with people who are distressed yeah, and distressed um, a lot right now. You know, and, um, and this man was two months away from retiring. And, oh, the commander, I yeah, I, I can't um, recall his name right off the hand, but, uh, off hand, but he was, that happened right down the road from our neighborhood. Where we used, where we used to live, used to live so, um, so, you know, really just, area. if you get an opportunity, thank them. Um, I am thankful for them every day. I come from a family of law enforcement, like from top to bottom, so I understand um, the, the uh, dangers when it comes to it, but I'm so thankful that people disregard that and do it anyways and keep us all safe. So make sure you're thanking your first responders, especially right now. Um, thank your, your doctors and your hospital staff. Any of your friends. If you, you have know. a friend that's a nurse, somebody like um, Amanda, for instance, she works in... Jamie. Jamie, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people that work that we know, Christy. Yeah. There's a lot of people that we know that work that are nurses and are doctors and or just in the field in the offices, ha, you know, helping out even if they're back office people. Just make it out. happen. Just say thank you. Yeah. Say I love you. Say whatever you can. Keep them propped up. That's going to be one of the biggest things right now, is keeping those people. Going. Going. Yeah. Because I can't, I mean, I've got like a medical kit and band-aids and shit, but if... Oh, you have more than that. Well, Please, Whatever. But you know what I mean? It's like we really need to make sure we're supporting that whole group. They're the ones that are going to take care of us. If one of us goes down, that's it, right? We need to support <clears throat> them because... If they, if something happens to them, that's why we need to take this shit so seriously also. Well, is yes. If, if we go down and we have to keep bringing this back and they have to stay, the longer they stay, the chances are they're going to have an, it's going to impact them. Everybody probably has already seen like the picture of the doctor up against this the kid glass. Who later lost his house to a tornado. Did oh, you know Jesus, that? I didn't yeah. know that. He was part of the group that was in a tornado. Luckily he had come home and his wife and son had left so that he could come home and grab stuff. Um, and the tornado hit. His wife called him and said, get out of the house or find shelter. Um, he luckily found shelter. His house was three-fourths gone. Yeah. So that man it went from bad to worse, bless his little heart. And he has COVID-19. So, he did so again, it, so. that's just going to be something that we all have to recognize right now. So on that, I'll say, um, let's flatten the curve, guys. Make sure you're staying home. Make yeah. sure doing we're doing, you know, in the next two weeks, it's supposed to get really bad. So make sure you're doing what you need to do to support um, everyone, especially your loved ones and family. But uh, I'll close with spare square. It's very important. We did get toilet paper today. Woohoo! First um, time. But uh, spare square and um, we I did to each other. Yeah. And I want to say, I can't be luckier. Sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. That doesn't happen very often. But I can't be luckier to be holed up with her, with anybody but her. Oh. Um, so, just be good to each other. You know, be calm. You. Take your time. Go through your day. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. All right, guys? Thanks, and we'll be back Love on. Love you guys. See you soon. Next couple days. Yeah. Love y'all. Take care. See ya. Bye.